Now you know how to execute a block of code if a condition is true. But what if you have a different block of code that you want to execute when that condition is false? You can use the else keyword to do so. Consider this code, which prints a message indicating whether an integer n is even or odd. If n is even, this line is run. Otherwise, this line is run. Code indented under the else is what happens when this condition evaluates to false. The else keyword is always followed by a colon and doesn't need a Boolean expression. So if we set n to be 4, like this, the if statement here would evaluate to true, and we would print the following string. Alternatively, if we set n to be 15, this condition would evaluate to false, so we would skip this block and execute the code under the else. If you have more than two possible cases, you can also use elif, short for else if, to deal with the situation. This saves the multiple indentation that would be needed if we used else and then another if statement inside the else block. Like if, an elif statement always requires a conditional expression. For example, let's say we wanted to print what to do with the garden based on the current season. If we set season equal to spring, like this, then we can see that plant the garden is printed, as this first condition evaluates to true. Alternatively, if we set season to winter, then each of these conditions will evaluate to false until we hit this condition, which will evaluate as true, and print stay indoors. Notice here we are using double equal sign again. Remember, a single equal sign is for assignment like we did here when we were setting a season as a particular string. Two equal sign is for evaluation, where we are evaluating a condition as true or false. 